Hi guys, Fire Plays here, and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, I am back with my Adelaide Crows My Coach career mode. All right, guys. So today we are playing the Inform North Melbourne Kangaroos. So this is very exciting. Um, it's a big game. So yeah, I'm not going to spoil what happened last round. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a chance to go and see uh, last round. If you haven't gone and watched last round already, please make sure you do go and watch last round. Last round was up against the Gold Coast Suns. So please go ahead and watch that one now because I'm about to spoil it here. All right, so I'll just give you guys a hot minute to do that. All right, you've had plenty of time. Um, so last round it was disappointing yet again um, we really really were terrible again um, we really didn't show any form of anything um, we actually played relatively good in the last quarter we went from about 50 to 99 which is good uh, a couple of missed opportunities as well which again annoys me so much uh, we probably had the game we probably could have won the game let's go and have a look at the other games that we had that last round though Sydney getting over Richmond, Essendon getting over St Kilda, um, West Coast getting over Port Adelaide, Fremantle getting over Carlton, uh, GWS getting over Melbourne, and Geelong getting over Hawthorne. And this round we've had Essendon getting over Sydney, Port Adelaide getting over Richmond, uh, Bulldogs in a very tight game against the Lions. The Lions just winning that one at Mars Stadium. Very interesting there. Um, St Kilda up against West Coast. That one was a good one as well. St Kilda just getting the job done. And um, yeah, Gold Coast beating Carlton and uh, Collingwood guessing over the Giants. Now it's our game, North versus Adelaide. This is a massive, massive game for our career. This game can throw stuff out, out of the blue. This game is massive for, for coaching. For coaching next season, we've got to win this game. We are 0 and 3 this season, guys. We've got to get better than this. Stat leaders, let's go and check the Coleman. Again, we haven't. Regular players haven't been kicking regular goals. Kennedy Billings, 11 and 12. Kennedy, Josh Kennedy from West Coast, 12 goals. Jack Billings from the Saints, 11 goals. Jack Silvani from Carlton, 9 goals. Buddy Franklin from Sydney, 9 goals. And Callum Brown from um, Collingwood with nine goals too. So we've really got to start going. We've really got to start catching up to them guys. Uh, and of course, yeah. Taylor Walker and Tom Lynch on six goals each. So they've actually been doing all right. Paul Seisman, James Rowe, Lachlan Murphy, Matt Crouch, four goals as well. Um, so yeah, we've got some big choices to make this week for team selection now. Also, just so you know, I want to give a quick shout out to Cade Robinson who said I should put the injuries back on. Injuries are back on. Uh, Injury severity is not back on though. I don't like having players out for weeks and weeks and weeks. So like talking like 50 weeks, I do not like that. But I'm okay with players missing a couple of weeks, two, three, four weeks. That's okay by me. So injuries will be back on for both the coach career modes. This one, the Adelaide Crows and the Western Bulldogs one as well, just to make things a little bit harder. Uh, but no injury severity again. I don't like that one. So, yeah, let's get into team selection for today. It's a massive game. We have to win this one. Four bounces, that'll be easy. Four set shot mode goals, that'll be easy. And three dribble kicks, that should be pretty easy as well. Um, we'll check in with season objectives later in the episode. Uh, now, it's time for team selection. Again, this week is going to be a tough one after last week. AFL match review. Gold Coast Suns. This is the report from the club's loss against the Gold Coast Suns. The underperforming players were Wayne Miller. We need him for drive off half back. Tom Duday and James Rowe. Now again, James Rowe week in the sand for I'm debating on that one. Opposition analysis for North Melbourne. North Melbourne have won two games and Todd Goldstein is in red hot form. So again, it's another ruck battle. Another ruck battle. We have to bring our two best ruckmen today. Team selection this week. Again, shout out to Kate Robinson who has uh, made a suggestion. So if you guys do want to suggest a um, team selection, let me know in the comments. Uh, sometimes they won't be used, but I will try and get back to people and tell them if it's possible or not. But yeah, there will be some players like Tex, Lynch, who won't be missing games this season unless if they get injured. So he said, Riley Thilthorpe, bring him out and put in Elliot Himmelberg. Well, unfortunately, Elliot Himmelberg is suspended. So, uh, sorry, Cade Robinson. I'll get back to that another time. Uh, so, I'll make the replacement today. And I don't really know if I can really bring in anyone. 
I need another... If I'm losing a tall player, I need to bring in another tall player. But I think Phil Thorpe can stay this week. Uh, otherwise, yeah, Himmelberg would have been into the team. Fogarty, Walker, Murphy. I like that forward line. Again, Murphy, I'm debating on him, but I do like him there. James Rowe on Conor Manager today. This should be his game where he can shine. O'Brien on Goldstein. Crouch on Cunnington. Sloan on Simpkin. That'll be some great matchups. Keys led season through the middle. Epic. Smith, Duda, Kelly, Miller, Talia and Brown. On the bench, Luke Pedler, Sanberry, Jackson, Haightley, David McKay. David McKay was really good last week. Um, today, I don't think I really need to change. Uh, Elliot Himmelberg will be coming into the team. Don't you worry, Cade Robinson. I uh, just have to wait and see on that one. We'll check our injuries. I don't think we'll have any. Uh, we'll have a look at um, North. Zebo out for two weeks. Taylor Garner out for three weeks. Lucky Young out for five. So they've got a couple of players missing. Of course, we have no injuries, but uh, injuries are back on. With the Tribunal, Elliot Himmelberg, we will guilty plea and see if he can come back into team. He's a week away. Um, what about North Melbourne on this one? Do they have Taron Thomas, Aiden Bonner, Aiden Court, and Josh Walker? So they are missing a their good team today. They sure are. North. Let's get in. So team management's already been done. I'm rolling with the same team. Let's get going. Let's just get going right now to uh, Marvel Stadium for this massive clash. Um, prediction coming up. Prediction is going to be... I'm going to say the Adelaide Crows are not going to find form back again this week. And I'm going to say North Melbourne are going to go over the top. They are going to beat us by 25 points. Now, I, know, I don't normally like to go against the Crows, but that's what's happening today. So, we are wearing our clash for the, f for the first time this year. I will see you guys there for the Adelaide Crows versus... Well, for North Melbourne versus the Adelaide Crows. Lime free from the Fireplace TV channel at Marvel Stadium. The prediction is North Melbourne by 25. I will see you guys there for this epic encounter. Guys, this, this week's game is massive. We've really got to perform. We've really got to show this. We need to get back on this winner's list. This is going to be one of the games of the year. And I, I do think North will take a pretty easy win on this one. We are not giving up though. It, we, the, the game hasn't even started. So let's get things underway. Roof is open. Beautiful. O'Brien v Goldie in the ruck. And well, O'Brien gets a clean hit out. Todd Goldstein, however, he gives the clearance for the Kangaroos. That one was Ben Cunnington. Ben Key's in there. Riley O'Brien, he's not sure who that was in the ruck, but it was up against Steelthorpe anyway. And now that Steelthorpe, he can, he can go in and get a pretty clean grab at things. He can go toward goal. And that, that opens us up perfectly. Riley Thilthorpe with the first of the game. Beautiful work. Look there. He made a contest of it. Now there, James Rowe, he's pretty quick. That is such smart play from Jimmy Rowe. And the Crows have their second on the board. No, very nice work there. And now there, we played on to our advantage. Lockwell Murphy, he's quick. He's quick. Doesn't normally get too many goals like this. Here's his opportunity. Tex in the goal square. What are we doing? This is not like Adelaide at all. We are playing so well. And well, we can capitalise by getting an easy goal. Oh, now Brody Smith bombs it in. Tommy Lynch was there. James Rowe. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. That is how you do it. We're up by four goals. No one would have ever thought of this. Now, I think that one was Haightley. Numbers with Adelaide. Riley O'Brien, easy. This should be an easy goal for Riley O'Brien. Shouldn't be any troubles there. And there won't be. Easy goal for Riley O'Brien. Dwenzel quarter has really been all crows. Can North get a goal? They can, Dom Tyson does. Fisted that one down. Jaden Stevenson, open goal. Been a good quarter. We have the 18 point lead. Uh, North 2 0 12 plays Adelaide 5 0 30. We've been, we've been really good. We have been really good in all aspects of the game. Um, so I reckon we, we've been the better team. Uh, Rory Laird, five touches. Taylor Walker, three. Tom Duda, two. James Rowe, two goals. Riley O'Brien, one. Riley Philthorpe, one. Stevenson, Dom Tyson have a goal each. And uh, Luke McDonald, six touches. Ben Mackay, five touches. Rory Tabin, Robbie Tarrant, four touches. We've got a nice 18-point margin here. Uh, we'll check the fantasy. Riley O'Brien, 33. 30 for Jimmy Rowe. 24 for Riley Philthorpe. Yeah, this, they, this is a big game for everyone. And, well, let's get the second quarter underway. Let's just get right into it. Crows versus North. Line free from Marble standing on the Fireplace TV channel. 
Let's get ready to go. So straight away, O'Brien taken to ground by Goldstein. Not sure who's taking the kicker. Might be Curtis Taylor. No, not sure who that is. Not sure who number five is. Uh, anyway, he didn't really have distance. Oh yeah, it was Curtis Taylor. Only just had the distance and it's an 11 point game. We can Luke Pedler, he can really impress here. With this set shot kick. This kick is massive for the Adelaide Crows. And well, he's got that one. We are back in business for this second quarter. We get our first for the second quarter. We're looking good. Wayne Miller, let Curtis Taylor do whatever he wanted. And it is gonna cost us in a goal, so. The Roos respond. He's down by O'Brien. It's going to fall out. Stevenson. Oh, the Roos. They are right back in this. A seven-point ball game. The danger man for the Kangas. And then now they can have a shot on goal. Rory Laird kept that one alive. And then now we can get out of here unscathed. Now he just goes along with the torp. Hoping Riley O'Brien can get on the end of it. Now they're Riley Fieldthorpe. He can have a shot. He can go toward goal. There's your goal. He does. O'Brien, again, will get this ball to ground. Now they're this time. Ben Keys. Ben Keys. Goal. Back-to-back -back goals for the Adelaide Crows. Paul sees when he can, he can unwind or be kind. One of them, do they both rhyme, so it doesn't matter anyway. Jackson Haightley had, had an even better option than Riley Fieldthorpe. This is how this club plays football. Perfectly. Riley Philthorpe deserves to finish this one. He does. And we are doing so well. Clear opportunity. Goes toward goal. There's your goal. Kane Turner gets it. Good back here in defense today. And well, that is a tough goal, but Will Walker, he nails it. I am. Now, Jackson Haightley. Simpkin anyway. He'll finish off the work anyway. Back to a one-kick game. When it's half time, so it's a one-kick game. We lead by six points, and this is worrying. North 8, 250 plays Adelaide 9, 256. Rory Laird, our best eight touches. Matt Crouch, six. Riley Fieldthorpe, six. Riley Fieldthorpe, three goals. James Rowe, two goals. Ben Keys, the one. Let's get into it. Second half, third quarter underway from Marbles. Underway, live and free from Marble Stadium. It's the Crows versus the Kangaroos. Live from the Fireplace TV channel. And well, Stevenson, that should be a goal, and it is. Goes over the heads of multiple players, and we are all tied up at 56 apiece. We need the next. Jaden Stevenson, and the Roos take a lead. They've not led at all in this game. They've let, they are leading now. Oh, Connor Menadieu, it's a Paul Seisman. He can send this ball deep in the forward line. Ben Keys, beautiful. That is just perfect how you how we just played footy just then. The beautiful kick. Now, I'm not sure if Ben Keys has got it. He does, however. Nice goal, we take back the lead. We now lead by two points back again. O'Brien, beautiful work. And then now, I'm just gonna try and catch up on a mismatch, and Luke Pedler, perfect. This is how we wanna play football. Luke Pedler is like, yep, this is exactly how we're gonna do it. And we should register another goal. We do. What a game this is. What a game of football this is. We get another goal. Distance wise, this will be interesting. Maybe it's time for the torp. Jimmy Rose like, time for the torp. He has got it, I reckon. Oh, Jimmy Rowe. You are an absolute gun. <coughs> absolute gun, Jimmy Rowe. Each time, Luke McDonald. Rose back in it. Rose are back in it. What a game, has to be careful. And then now, David McKay. David McKay, the ball deserves to end in the hands of the veteran. He just has to handle Jimmy Rowe. He's been amazing this game. Jimmy Rowe, is that like his fourth? That is his fourth. As we look to go back and forward again. Lachlan Murphy, now. Darcy Fogarty, he's gonna give it over to Jimmy Rowe, who's gonna get his fifth goal of the game. Jimmy Rowe, he's going to be in for a bag today. McKay, he deserves that one back. Well, he can walk in and get an easy goal. David McKay, three quarter time. So we have a 27 point lead. This is a big 11, 268, 15, 5, 95. Matt Crouch, 10 touches, Rural Laird, 9. David McKay, 9. Jimmy Rowe, 5 goals. Riley Fieldfield, 3 goals. Ben Keys, 2 goals. Let's have a look 
at our fantasy. 87 Riley O'Brien, 77 James Rowe, 68 Matt Crouch, 62 Riley Philthorpe. David McKay's also been getting in the action with 52 of his own. So let's get into the final quarter, live and free. On the Fireplace TV channel from Marble Stadium is the Adelaide Crows versus North Melbourne Kangaroos. Let's get it underway. Stood there doing nothing, and the Roos get the first. Kane Turner, they are coming. I knew they wouldn't be giving up. Daniel Talia was pushing up forward. Now they're Riley Thielthorpe. He'll deserve a goal, and well, he will be able to get it. We're just gonna send this one up. Tom Lynch, not sure on distance. Lukey Pedler. Luke Pedler, he's been impressive today. And well, he could be in the line for Fires votes too. But yep, there's another. 74 plays 107. Murphy, I see James Rowe is leading. Oh, that wasn't a very good kick to get to him. Darcy Fogarty, there he is, there he is. Jimmy Rowe, he's been epic today. Jimmy, you deserve your sixth. There it's gonna come. Jimmy Rowe, six goals. What about that? Massive kick. It's a behind from Curtis Taylor, so. And it's over. We get a win, what a win it was. North Melbourne Kangaroos, 12-375, plays Adelaide, 18-513. Uh, Matt Crouch, 11 touches, James Rowe, 10 touches. A nine for Rory Laird, six goals for Jimmy Rowe, four for Riley Fieldthorpe, three for Luke Pedler. Riley O'Brien man the match, James Rowe coming in second, Ben Mackay in third. Uh, so yeah, Ben Mackay's pretty good for the Kangaroos back in defense. Um, let's have a look at the Crows and their fantasy. 104 for Riley O'Brien, 93 for Jimmy Rowe, 79 for Riley Fieldthorpe, and 71 for um, Matt Crouch. And then David McKay, who played really well, got the 52, led 54. Haitley, 68, played really good too. Um, so yeah, a couple of players like Tom Lynch, who played pretty well, only getting 35. 35 for uh, Fogarty, 237 for Murphy. Paul Seisman as well. Luke Pedler played a really good game, but yeah, I know who the votes are gonna go to today. Pretty easy, in fact, for me. So, let's get going. Gonna do a couple of things. Um, but yeah, I have um, something to announce, which will be Fires votes straight away. We're going to get into Fires votes straight away today, just after I do a couple of things, because there's a couple of things that I always do first. Checking the Coleman will be one of them, and all that. Reading a few messages that we might be getting. Himmelberg will be back, so Cade Robinson. Um, yes, your move might happen next week. We've got the Dockers now. Uh, where are we now after that win? 16th, one of three. So every team has a win, uh, which is nice to see. So we didn't really move up that that far. We got our percentage back on track. And now the Roos, they are out of the eight. So let's have a look at the office and the inbox. We have a fair few. Uh, Elliot Himmelberg was suspended for two rounds as you have made an early plea. The suspension is reduced to one. Perfect. Um, April match review. Um, I do not need to read that. A for much review against North. The standout performers were Riley O'Brien, James Jones, Riley Field for, for sure. Elliot Himmelberg can play. Uh, Sandful, Elliot Himmelberg, exactly. So Cade Robinson, your move might be made, but it might be for a different player next week because, yeah, all the players that haven't been so good have played really good. Uh, Obviously, the analysis for Freeman Dogs, Freeman have won three games and Nat Fife is in red hot form. Now, with Jimmy Rose six goals, this would have changed the Coleman. Jimmy Rowe should be up there now, which is going to be amazing to see him up there. Uh, our career history also would have changed and given us a bit of life. But yeah, super happy with that win. 16 for Billings, 12 for Stevenson, 11, I mean 12 for Kennedy, 11 for Silvani. But yeah, where's our first player up there? Where is he? James Rowe, 10 goals. Amazing. Let's go into career history. 40% win percentage, team stats, and then fires votes. So let's have a look at the uh, scoring um, goals. 10 for James Rose, 7 for Walker, 7 for Philthorpe, 6 for Lynch, 5 for Pedler. So let's get into Fires votes for today. So winning three votes today, got a six goal bag. Jimmy Rowe, he was a standout. Winning two votes today is going to be Riley Philthorpe. 
played a really good game, got lots of goals. Winning one vote today is two players. Winning one vote, Matt Crouch <laughs> and Riley O'Brien. So that is amazing. Nice to see a lot of players winning five votes today. Um, but yeah, what a win. Our first win of the season. It is amazing. Uh, I'll show you how the match objectives are going for the season. Because it's 227 out of 249. 1 out of 15 dribble goals and 47 out of 278 torpedo kicks. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so then you guys will be notified when more videos come out. Uh, let's just go and have a look at the end of last round. So Melbourne smashed you along. I got them off the bottom for sure. And then Fremantle lost to Hawthorne. We do have to check. So, yep, uh, Hawthorne played a pretty good game. Then Saints lost to Richmond. So, Richmond won. Uh, West Coast defeated Collingwood. Uh, Western Bulldogs got over Gold Coast. Swans over the Giants pretty comfortably. Carlton got over Port Adelaide. And Brisbane lost to Essendon. So, I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, then you guys will be notified when more videos come out. That's it for me now, guys. So, bye, guys. Fireplays out.